Oh, hi there. Today, we're going to spend the night at the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary was the very first video that we made on this channel. Anne has never been there. It's one of those amazing places that when you go there, it's like you're stepping back in time. It was closed during COVID and then struggled to reopen because the ship had been mismanaged for so many years, had so many problems. But guess what? It's open now and we're going. Anne, are you excited to go? I am. One of my first dates with Greg, we went to the aquarium that's right next door and we actually sat in the grass and looked at the Queen Mary. So I've seen it, but I haven't been on it. This is the return to the Queen Mary. Before we go to the ship though, we are going to the gayest restaurant in all of Southern California. Ben's restaurant. So you thought I was kidding. This is really the gayest place you can find. Music's a little loud. Hopefully you can hear me. Ben is a longtime Tuca's friend. He's been in several videos. And this is his restaurant that he owns. So we're gonna sample some food and judge him harshly. Hey, what are you getting, Ben? I'm gonna get the gay French toast, but can you hold the gay? <laughs> no gay, please. <laughs> it's literally called gay French toast on the menu. Look at this delicious Mexican fiesta. Ben, are they original recipes? Yeah, for my family. Every time I come here, I just feel so gay and it makes me so happy. <laughs> Stand further back so you can get the sign too. We're going to the, the Beach Garden Social House. The Beach, Beach Garden, Garden Social House. Beach Garden Social House, yeah! Beach, Beach Garden, Garden Social, Social House. House. We're going to the, the Beach, Beach Garden, Garden Social House. House. Here we are, we've returned to the Queen Mary. I'm really pumped. Wow, it's huge. I'm glad it's docked. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be going on. Doesn't it look like the Titanic? It does. It's creepy. And Ben's having fun driving the drone over there. It's so fun. Look at that ship. It's just like the Titanic. Wow. Can I just see your ID and your credit card, please? Yes. The Majesty Queen Mary. Say it again. The Majesty Queen Mary. <laughs> One thing you do need to be aware of is that anybody you see could be a ghost. You don't know, they might not even be real. So keep that in mind as we go. Here's the gym, just as it was back in the day. Ben, can you demonstrate something for us? Well, this is from the 1920s. This is what they call back in the day an elliptical. You'll see some old materials on here that are YouTube. You can watch here. This is what the old equipment was. Remember they had, you'd wrap yourself in this and it would like shake you. Oh my. Wow, this is cool. Look at those windows. Very cool. As it was 1936 for the maiden voyage, the Royal Marine Band was on hand to play the ship away. Passengers were crowding the decks and streamers were everywhere at approximately 9.42 a.m. That's not approximate, that's exact. like antique lobby. <laughs> Creepy. Wow. Very cool. Here we are at the bar. Very classic. Trad, very nice. One thing that you'll not, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> One thing, we're, at, we're not at the gay bar anymore. One thing that you'll notice is that the 
rescue boats are gone. Have you noticed that? They're not here. They had to take them away because the ship was falling apart and they, they had to take them off to save the boat. There's one of the boats. They kept one. Wow, look how old this is. Yeah, how the heck are plants growing on this boat? Where did they come from? This boat's been docked on the ocean. Wetness, wetness and wood. And plants just grow? But it looks like there's like mud underneath the... Um... So did the seeds fly in the air on a windy day? I was looking everywhere for this. The creepy men's bathroom sign. I draw the line at going down there because it's dark and scary, although that little girl down there said it might be a good idea. Queen, Mary, Queen, Mary, no. Queen, Mary. Uh, excuse me, guys, excuse me, can I, can I take a quick look? Wow, I remember last time I was here, there was like a dance party going on in here. Tom, um, you need to be using your imagination to think you're back in time. Back when there were no gays. Wow. What a good time it was. They've yeah. been around a long time. A lot of places that are closed off that were open last time, which is a shame. I'm sorry to say the infirmary is closed. The isolation ward. However, if we just go right here, we can get there. No, no. And it seems to me, you've lived your life like a candle in the wind. <laughs> Never fading with the sunset when the rain set in. <laughs> Your candle burned out long before. Let's go down the stairs. This looks like a liminal space. Yeah. They really kept it all intact. Point out this woodwork hand. Look at that, wow. Looks like people playing sports. Oh yes, look, this woman up here is playing tennis. And this one is holding a rope. Yes, the rope. Look at this space. Oh, we have a speaker. <clears throat> is this thing on? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's so great to be here this evening and see all your lovely faces. Who is she talking to? Welcome to the There's Queen Mary. Here. Nobody's here. What? The room's empty, Anne. No, it's not. You don't see the people? I'm getting out of here. <laughs> What's wrong? What happened? Why would you put this here and this right here for people way back and put their head? Why would that make sense? You're bound, I, I guarantee you they've had complaints of people hitting their head on this. So what happened, what did you Guaranteed. do? Guaranteed. What'd you do? Doesn't matter. Poor Anne went and bopped her head. Hmm. You tired? Mm -hmm. You want to go have dinner? What time is it? Dinner time. People in the drawing having a good time. What a, it's just a classic looking bar. I got a pink strawberry drink and Ann got a pink something or other. I feel like we're supposed to switch. Let's toast. Mmm. That's so strawberry. This is straight alcohol, I'm an idiot. She didn't even know what she ordered. Whereas I said, give me the fruitiest drink you have, please. Shoot. This is what happens when you hang out with Ben. Mine literally tastes like a strawberry fruit roll up. Doesn't it? Delicious. This is good. I don't even think there's alcohol in it. I don't even care. Why do I suck it? Ordering. I don't know, why do you go for like the, why didn't you get something that you knew what it was? 
I thought I didn't know what it was, but I knew what was in it. I just didn't know it was built like uh, like I was drinking straight So you're not alcohol. gonna drink it? I mean, I have to, don't I? Because you're not gonna let me send it back? No, you have to drink it. Can't I send it back and no, something else? No. Why? I could just say I was an idiot. No, Ann, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna send it back and ask for them to take that off. Am I being unreasonable? You can turn it off now. Am I being unreasonable? You can turn it off now. If we had a bit of a disagreement here, because I told her that she was ghetto. <laughs> because I don't think one should order a drink and then if they don't like it, exchange it. If, if that's a problem, order what you know you like. It's just like, if everybody ordered a drink that they didn't like and then re returned it, every business would be out of business. Rebuttal. People make mistakes. They want to try new things sometimes when they're out. It's totally normal and natural. It's totally human. Right. I thought that it would be more like this. But I'm not going to send it back and ask for another one. I won't be a part of that. That's what I told her. Yeah, and he said he'd order me another one to be nice, but I don't want us paying for three drinks. And she's going to have mine, and I'm going to have hers. I haven't tried it yet. I feel guilty stealing from Greg. Greg likes fruity drinks, so you would think I would have ordered this one. But yeah, I told you. Whoa! I was like, he's not gonna like it. Oh this, my god. It's mezcal, which like, I like mezcal, I like tequila, but it was as if I ordered a tequila on the rocks, I really didn't mean to do that. Tequila, I wanted as the base. Holy and then I wanted freaking like, moly. Yeah. But it's fine. We're not gonna exchange the drinks. So let us know in the comments, whose side do you take? We made it to the restaurant. And Anne's pissed. What are you gonna get, in? I don't know yet. We have this delightful blue square on our table. And how do you like your Chicon? It's good. It's a very expensive Chicon. I know. And this is a sorry enormous chicken sandwich. My God. Leaving the restaurant. Look at this magnificent hallway. And now it's evening. Looking for the ghosts. She's possessed. Get away from me. <laughs> We're looking at the Titanic. The Titanic? Mm hmm Did you know that there was a pickleball court on the Titanic? Why is that not discussed more often? We're out here on the ship at night. All is quiet. I thought it might be cool to get a view of the ship at night from the drone. It's a little dark. But you can still sort of see everything. You feel anything while sitting here? Feel? Yes. I like the old music. As Anne can tell you, I can feel things, usually in a paranormal sense. Do I feel ghosts? I wouldn't say per se, but I can feel overwhelming history that is contained within this ship. And I would say it is bordering on paranormal, but I'm not feeling ghosts. I'm feeling just the energy of this place. It's very unique. It's overwhelming. Sit back and see if you can feel it. Right here, underneath your ribcage. That's my ghost detector. See if you can feel it, in. You have to let go of your own emotions. Just like the movie Suzume. Imagine what it was like when people were here. That is the energy that I sense. Just imagining people going through this space. Like there's people literally walking around us right now as if we're back during their time. I could sense that. Oh. 
we're gonna see if we can spot Anne in the ship. There she is. Oh, wave. Oh. You look so cute in that boat. Thank you. Ahoy there. All right, that's it. Let's get out of here before the ship sinks. What? Go. You have the card? Yes. Checking out. That concludes our stay at the Queen Mary. Anne, would you like to give your review of what you thought about the ship? Sure, I think it's a unique historical experience. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because I think that more could have been open and available to us. Like it was a bummer missing the infirmary and some other parts of the ship, but I appreciate what they're trying to do, keeping a part of history alive. Well, they are just opening up. So there was a lot that was unavailable. A lot of the stores were closed, the restaurants were closed, and you couldn't go into certain parts of the ship, which was a bummer, but I still think it's worth coming out to. It's a magical step back into history it's just like the Titanic. Very similar. Bigger than the Titanic. Wow. All right. Like and subscribe, please. We'll see you soon. Okay. Goodbye. Would you like to see something truly majestic? Graceful? Well, watch this dive. What do you think? Wasn't that just beautiful?